Greetings, listeners. Your host for the night, Zach, here, introducing you to the return of The Call, the Call of Cthulhu podcast by Twisted Gear Studios. Thank you all for your patience over the past several months. Between lockdowns, work, and personal lives, and everything else, we're finally back to new episodes. As always, we'd like to thank our donators over on Kofi for sticking with us during the break and beyond, such as Alec, KJ, Noops, DDevil1193, TJ, and Taylor. And if you want to help support the shows, offer up Sandy to investigators and more, please check out our Kofi page for more. With the callback, we're doing a soft uh, reboot of sorts, with Spacers back next week and new goals over on Kofi. We're hoping to add video to the shows, so if we can get the last few pieces we need, we'll do just that. And don't forget about the store on our main website for shirts, mugs, and more. You may have noticed that we posted two episodes today. We have a new episode, as well as a recap of things that even the players needed a bit of a refresher on since it has kind of been a while. At last we left our investigators. They had begun their investigation into the Silver Twilight Lodge in an effort to re- rescue Alistair, one of the leaders of the New England Center of Antiquities. After failing to concoct a decent plan, they find themselves outside the lodge as the group within prepares for a party. It's been one week in the. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Walking around on your legs. What? what the fuck do you use? <laughs> Hopes and dreams? No. <laughs> no. It's all this about slugs. Mm. I'm not gonna touch this. I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> no. no. You two live together. Yeah, figure. No. <laughs> anyway. So it's been almost a year since we played, so we're oh, gonna have Christ. to shake off a little bit of rust. Okay, so I may not be as uh, quick as I was before. It's been a rough year. You were quick before? Oh, I was quick. Hey, oh, was quick. I'm looking to die. I don't yeah, know. No, not, no, I don't want to die. Don't kill me. Sorry. You don't have a backup character. We'll I don't have it. enough backup characters. We'll shake yeah, off yeah, the yeah. rust and the dust if you say that we must. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Glad you found that book of poetry <laughs> in Heinrich's house. That and, really definitely helped. Now that I've done this rhyming, I'm just hoping that the keeper will be just. No, With this timing? The, 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 That's a weird way. It is a weird way. Dude, that was so <laughs> forced. <laughs> that was like, so it suddenly forced. became a limerick. Like, I part almost through. got a fourth one in there. Okay, so right. last game, um, stake out. Right. Thank God we chose. Case to number 0319. Snack out. Uh, you all hopped into the Packer Twin Six. Skeet was driving. Um, Simon went with you as well. Uh, hilarity ensued while trying to talk to Simon. And as usual, he doesn't have much tact. And, you know, when he doesn't know something, he'll just say, no. <laughs> I don't. Uh, and I pans you all, out and I let Skeet drive the car. And you all realized that there was really no plan when you got there. But you all decided... Yeah, we'll be doing a stakeout. Laughing is not a plan? It depends on the situation. It does, really. You know, let's not forget, you know, driving up the driveway of the Silver Twilight Lodge while Skeet lays on the horn is playing La Cucaracha. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. With yeah. a car full of you. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. La Either way, you did... Uh... <laughs> Anyways, you did some reconnaissance, Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not really going to re-go over all the descriptions of the massive estate uh, house mansion that seemed to. It's it was sort of I'm going to go over a little bit of it. It It's sort of up on a hill, and it sort of had like hotels have. There's a lane that goes up, but it there's like the eave over, and cars can park underneath, and it's a circle so they can drive in around. You found out that there's a pile of vehicles dropping off. Um, goods, uh, food, uh, catering, um, from expensive places in town. <laughs> They're like, having a party tonight. Uh, you're not sure if it's tonight, but potentially. Soon. Soon. You, soon, soon enough because they're dropping food off. Yes. Yeah. Unless they just want the food to go bad and then eat it. And it's like, entirely possible. I've been like in the house. Amos that's in the haunted <laughs> house. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Right? Mm. Can't attest people are into that thing. Right? Speaking of Pugorachas. Oh, <laughs> So, Skeet, uh, you did sort of a circle around the block. Because um, it's sort of in the 
sort of center of town. Not like the dead center, I'm not saying. Yeah, you said there was buildings around it. It's a gentleman's club. Yeah. Yeah, te yeah. technically. Um, and there was like a seven to eight foot high stone wall around. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you drove around behind and there was like an alleyway or a small parking lot that you could see the back. Um, so at that point, I'm pretty sure, and I, I'm given a bit more of a leeway now because it's been so long since we played. Yep. Yeah. That uh, Agatha was thinking about uh, finding out who she could ask about who would be attending this party, right? Amongst her contacts or amongst people that sh that she would know. That was Althea. I said Althea, right? Yes. Yes. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Coo. And then Agatha and Marion went up. Uh, you originally were all going to go up to uh, look over the stone wall, and then Skeet said, "Not very sneaky." <laughs> Uh, what the hell does he know about sneaking? Well, he also said at the same time, I'm pretty sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did offer. Yeah. He did offer to go look. I am so sus of that man right now. I'm not like... Mm. Yeah. Um, so Amos and Althea stayed behind, whereas... Well, you're within sight. Agatha and Marion went up, uh, and Agatha crossed her hands. Uh, Marion stepped in it and was sort of lifted up so she could look over the stone wall. She saw a very unkept yard. There are mm -hmm. trees back there. Yep. I believe I said there were three, but there are trees back there. Um, it looks like the yard work hadn't been done, like, ever. ever. Yeah. Uh, and there was a back porch and a small deck off of it, which had a... Um, a metal tin with sand in it, like a butt tray, and there was two of the staff, you're assuming, uh, wearing the same white shirts, uh, black suspenders, uh, navy blue pants, and the same dress shoes, so clearly a uniform of some sorts that they would wear. And as they went back inside through the back door, you noticed um, that there was a long line of uh, hung up robes. Uh, dark colored robes. Something else, of course, you noticed from looking was there was a there is a bell tower in this house. There's like a bell like there is a bell tower mm -hmm. in this house. You don't have very many good experiences with bell towers because they only brought up one other before. How similar do these places look? Oh, it looks nothing like the Church of Contemplation. Okay. It's just that has a bell tower, which is weird. It is weird. Mm -hmm. Most buildings don't have bell towers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if it was adapted from a church, does it look like a Gothic architecture? Like, um, uh, yes, yeah, somewhat. Maybe like a like a Gothic revival style. You know what I mean? It Where, could have been a school. Or um, a but the thing is, it wasn't here Maybe. before. Oh yeah, it that's seemed right. it to spring built, up out of nowhere. Yeah, it was built overnight. Um, there's there's something else as well, which I believe might have been overlooked, and it was from a while ago. Um, well, there's one, there's there's multiple we've heard of, right? There's one yeah. outside of town. Yeah, that was uh, case number zero two eleven. Uh, what did you do? Show off. Um, yeah, I have uh, because we've had a year off. I have pretty good records now to compare my notes and the uh, actual recordings, where uh, you had found out that there was. A Silver Twilight Lodge Gentleman's Club, men only outside of Boston, on land and estate owned by Carl Sanford. Mm -hmm. um, you're not sure about that location because all you've heard about recently, and this also may, might fix a continuity error, <laughs> but also that there is a, in town that seemed to have sprung up out of nowhere, was a gentleman's club. Well, sprung out of nowhere. It's a fair point that Amos is making that maybe it's been repurposed from another building mm -hmm. and it was easily overlooked. Like the what the, like yeah. the house you investigated with Father O'Malley like inside. The haunted it's house. just overlooked. It's not looked at. People don't notice it. People ignore it. Like the house from up. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't have any as much as, other than base in it, but would an appraise roll be an appropriate request to see if I can, like, maybe I'll be lucky and roll really low. Um, just to see, like, if it's more repurposed from a church or a school, like what Agatha was saying, or... I don't think anyone has architecture, so I will allow... Because uh, architecture, when you look under... Um, it would fit under craft, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would fit mm -hmm. under craft oh, or could even... Would be an architecture. But I will allow an appraise role, I guess. It wouldn't be the same information Fair as enough. an architecture. 5% versus 1%. I'll take a 5. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. No, no way. Oh. Take a look at that. It's just what'd you roll? Four. 
Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I actually rolled a four. I need to roll a percentage just to see if it works both ways. <laughs> Put a tick in. Uh, appraise. 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 Um, that was a fucking shot in the dark. That was great. Yeah. Wow. I think I'm taking a picture. Of that's it. That's it. That's a good start for. Uh, I'll take it. For you, I guess, because now I need to come up with something for a five percent roll. <laughs> um, no, but well, let's be clear as well. When you're coming about five percent, that's the same thing as rolling a twenty on a d twenty. Yeah, it's a five yeah. percent chance. Yeah, yep. So it happens. Mm -hmm. That's how this Natural game works. Natural twenty. And we love it when it happens. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All cheer. <laughs> Definitely love those natural 20s more than those dirty 20s. Yeah. So, <laughs> no. what so you many. feel, what you get <laughs> from your appraise check yes, sir. is um, the location of this mansion in Boston would be worth a lot of money. You get that. Okay. Like, real estate wise, where it's located, this is super. Expensive. Okay. Um, appraise wouldn't tell you what was here or that what it was repurposed sense. from as much, but you, you did make that 5% roll. Um, you do feel that it was repurposed okay. and altered. There was a structure here that was altered to be this. And you would also know that Potentially, it could have been a church of some sort. Okay. Right? Like that, it could be, especially with that bell tower, it potentially could have been a church of some sort. Is there still a bell in the bell tower through the windows? Can I see? Oh, see? oh that's, a, that's a fair question as well. As you're looking up at the bell tower, now let's not forget you are back in the vehicle yeah, yeah, looking, yeah. but I mean, it's still fairly close. You notice that where normally you'd see the bell, like there's openings, that there seems to be wood blocking mm. the view inside. So you're not sure. Slatted wood or boarded up? It looks like it might be boarded, but it's, uh, the bell tower also looks to be sort of stone, not um, as much as like wood. Right. Like the bell, it seems to be a little bit, it was probably from the original structure that was here. So right. the tower itself is stone, original structure, but the holes that normally you'd see the bells through are wood. Yes. But the majority of the lodge exterior that we see is seems to be mostly wood. Yes. Mm. So, yes. okay. So the ex so the majority of the facility is new, repurposed oh, on top of something underneath it. Or, or around it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Either on top okay. around it, yeah. Um, now I'm going to step away from uh, yeah. Amos for a second. I'm going to move to Marion and Agatha, because Marion, you're still looking over yeah. the top. Just... Well, I don't know if there's anything more for me to see. I saw the overgrown garden. I watched two members of the staff finish up their smoke break and go back inside. So what's happened is as you see the robes, you notice that one of them closes the door or appears to close the door. And as you just keep looking for another second, you notice the door just slightly creak open a little. As if it was yeah. closed, but it didn't catch. Yeah. So the door is slightly open a little. I'm just saying. Oh, no. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, 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 I don't own a horse. I don't you know, own a horse in this race. <laughs> it's. You I know the, what I would do. In the you hashtag Team Mario. Yeah. You own the racetrack. <laughs> that makes me a horrible person. It really does. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, so the one who offended the one who likes their horse racing. <laughs> well, no. I mean. You are a horrible person, Derek. <laughs> in 2021, wow. in this is coming from Liz. In 2021, yeah. we would call that clickbait. <laughs> we would call that clickbait. This is why you're our friend. Top 10 reasons Anyways. why you should enter. <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't give me any of that. But what? what would you like to do with this new information? I'm. Um, I'm gonna hop down. First thing, and over onto the other side. No, no, no. Okay. down <laughs> to the same, the same the side of the, one has the of, the, of the wall of the mod. I don't have a very high strength, so pulling myself up on over a wall, I don't know if I could do that. I'll let you parkour your dexterity. Yes. So <laughs> um, He's just gonna give it to you for free. Don't do it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna tell uh, Agatha, who's there with me, everything that I saw. That I saw. Uh, just let you know that. Uh, um, so just yeah. Uh, 
I saw uh, two members of the staff. There appears to be a, a bit of a, a back space where they can take their breaks. Uh, when they went into the building, uh, I saw a cl- cloak room that seemed to have a fair number of, of those robes, uh, similar to some of the... It, it reminded me of some of the cultists we'd seen uh, in some of the, in, or, or, or seen earlier. Um, Whoever the staff member is there, they either left the door open or the building itself is not kept up well enough and the door stayed open. Uh, but I will say the back garden is definitely not well kept up. It's very overgrown, very uh, just let wild. Uh, it's a big contrast from the front. I'm not sure what that means, but... Did you just say that they left the door open? I couldn't tell if they left it open or if the door stayed open itself. I, I got the sense from how overgrown the back garden is that maybe areas that guests don't see are not as well kept up as as the rest. Could be that the door itself is just broken. That would be great if it's broken, but we don't know for sure. But right now the door is open. And I'm going to start walking towards the car. And I'm going to just basically just open the car door. Or if the windows are down, I'm not sure. Where, but just basically say to everybody in the vehicle that there is possibly right now, at this moment, we might be able to actually get into this building because they've left a door open. Whoa, Agatha, I, Agatha, no, we whoa, can't. We can't. It is the middle of the day. Didn't we just literally... On the, like, not on the way here. But once we parked, after getting here, just discussed that we do not have a plan. Like, not even a little bit of one. We don't know what. We're no, that's into true. Here. But we might be able to steal some robes. What? And what? Well, I mean, to have a future disguise. Yeah, she's got a point. To get in, right? We don't know what what we could might find. What's what's who who would be there? Also, anyone will see us coming from from the from the building. Uh, when I said that it was overgrown, nobody goes into that back garden. If we go in through the back, someone will see the trampled glass and know that we've been there. But if you said that it's unkept, no one looks. Yeah, no one would pay attention. Now, if we knocked over something on mm. the um, porch or anything, like the butt can or whatever, yeah, that might be obvious. But, I mean, we could probably... If anyone who walks through long grass leaves a trail. Well, that's a fair point. So then let's just consider, why don't we file that under option uh, one of them? I'm not going to say option A because that implies that it's the best one. I don't know. But let's just say that that is an option. Um, well, boy, I, I could go in and take a couple robes for you if you want. Says Skeet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that you can just go in and get Well, I just jump I, over I and sneak on in. I'm quick. I'm sneaky. Talking about exactly your plan. But that's the same issue that with the current plan. First of all, it's the middle of the day. Anyone could see you. And second of all... Yes, but if they see me, I'm just skeet. I could be anybody just working the grounds or somebody um, looking for a job. Nobody works the grounds is the point she's making. Also, they have a a staff uniform Eh? that you are not wearing. Eh? (laughs) Well, it was one thing I did notice. is I did see two staff members, and they do have a staff uniform. Well, I could jump in and take those robes. Perhaps he's homeless and stumbled into the back garden. That's even worse than they'll call the police oh. on him. <laughs> Skeet just sort of looks stealthy and is just like, "Well, okay, no, Skeet, hang on, no, we can't, we, we, not we can't yes, risk." Yes, right, got tree house. It's true. Well, no, we we can't risk the cops being called on Skeet, otherwise we lose Skeet. Yes, why cops never find me? You guys got me nice, well hidden. You said the military was looking at looking for me, did you? What about the cops? They're the same thing. Uh oh, big government boy. For the purposes of this conversation, they're the same thing. All right, okay, so Marion brings up a good point. Even if we were to go and grab the robes, as of right now, it would appear that the robes are not in use to just grab them and go. I mean, the staff is not robed. At the very least, that's a late that's a late game disguise. Getting into the building is a different problem entirely. Uh... I mean, short of seeing people walking in with robes, which is rather suspicious. Marion, could you just quickly roll me a percentage, please? It might mean nothing. It's nothing crazy. I just want to see what you roll. 
20. You died. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's a great late stage idea. It. So on, so far, we've only scoped the back of the house. And a little, like very and briefly the, the front. front. Yeah, what you noticed in the front is when uh, the caterers or whatever was being dropped off, uh, there's a lineup of vehicles. And they'd pull up, you know, like the hotel, mm-hmm. pull up in front. And there would be somebody at the door. Um, there was particular a, a man from the distance, and somebody tried to make a spot hidden and couldn't see, like, couldn't get any discerning features. Would uh, sign... One person was signing for everything that was coming in. Okay. Um, and then move on. Like, you have not seen any uh, women staff <laughs> yet. I'm not saying they're not here. You just haven't seen them. I yeah. got an idea. Okay. Wait. Althea, know. you're rich as fuck. <clears throat> would it seem, would you agree that it seems like they are preparing for some kind of gala? Tonight, oh, rich definitely person thing. some sort of event for sure. Would there not be either any organization, institution, or partner that you have in business or society that would be not out of place by showing up at an event like this? What if it's invite only? Uh, I'll get to that in a sec because I almost roll certain roll. it's an invite only. Alfie, could you roll me a credit rating, please? Ha! <laughs> Making everybody. Uh, I'm not. Uh, Althea will definitely have some information, regardless, right? Ooh. But I just want to see how, how well much the information will be. I got a 79 out of 58. Well, do you want to burn 21 luck? Probably no. not. No. <laughs> no. I have to Christ. save it for the next time I try to kill Amos. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so. laughs> Just say that, what the fuck? Yeah, so that that actually brings up a point in which uh, I'm going to bring up is that moving forward, when it comes to uh, burning luck, um, I play pretty loose and hard, and I'm fine with the decisions that I've made, but moving forward, I want to make it clear about how uh, certain things are going to be moving forward, as per the rules, but certain things that I like about it, is you can't burn luck on a luck roll. That makes sense. That makes sense, right? Right? Um, You also can't, like... And pushing rolls are also similar. Like, you can't push a damage roll. You can't push a sanity roll. Right. That checks out. Right? You cannot push a critical fumble. That makes sense, too. Oh, that does make sense. You can't push it, and you can't burn luck on it. Oh, Oh, shit. And then we're just going to jump back into the game. Oh, no. Um, Wait. Hey, our okay. subscribers have given you all piles of sanity, which we will use. That's true. And everything else. And with these benefits, I get to be, you know. A dick. More of a dick. <laughs> be more of a dick. Althea. <laughs> You're just looking My to God. Die. <laughs> Holy I'm shit. not your grandfather. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Ugh. How'd that make you feel? Uh. Now you know what'll happen. (laughs) What the flying fiddler's fuck? Anyway, we'll find out, maybe. Okay, no, I just wanted to bring that up. It's just, you know, there's a couple of other things, but that's one thing that popped into my head from rereading reading over a couple of things that makes it more interesting, too. When you fumble, you fumble, right? Next time we get a machete in the chest, we're all fucked. Yep. Gotcha. All right. I just don't have dynamite there. Then you'll be fine. (laughs) Man. (laughs) Yeah, it's a daily daily compulsion. You put on your suit, you put in your pocket square, (laughs) stick of dynamite (laughs) leaking nitroglycerin. You know, the normal essentials. The thing is, though, at this point... 1930s EDC, you know what I'm saying? At this point in the game, you might survive a machete to the chest as long as you don't have dynamite in your pocket. As long as Simon's all right with missing a couple limbs. Maybe. I do have points in throw now. You have been good. <laughs> I, I, I got the practice. I do find it funny that there is probably nothing scarier in this campaign that we're playing, this game that we're running, then Althea than Althea is saying, I'm going to throw, insert blank, you know what I mean? <laughs> insert any object here. Or more of a threat to each other than She's probably succeeded else. more throw checks than... Because oh, you've successfully well, hit each it's, other it's more than our enemies. I, it did. It's gone up. What well, is your throw up. skill? My throw is uh, is 29. That's so not bad. At a base bad. 20. But, I mean, I mean, I put ranks in throw right at the beginning, and I haven't gone up. You have up, a higher so. throw skill than me, and I throw shit. I know. So she does, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but she doesn't hit her targets. <laughs> Apparently she, she does. She has a couple times. She has. Okay, she's had to. Cause, cause oh, she's, remember? That's what I'm saying. Do I, I count she as a target? Go, she's gone up on throw. I have not. It was the match. Right. Remember? I threw the match. Oh, that was a good That was a good one. That was good. Oh, sub the red card. Oh, God. 
Anyway, okay, let's um, get back to the game. So yes, so I got a seventy-nine out of fifty-eight. Red card, red card. Yeah, Continue. seventy-nine out of fifty-eight on my credit rating. Okay, um, off the top of your head, you can't think of specific caterers mm -hmm. or stuff, but you, being who you are, you know, with a few phone calls mm -hmm. through some prominent individuals that you know. Which will rename nameless, like the staff. <laughs> um, you could find out more information. I just mean you don't know it off the top of your head. You couldn't be like, right. oh, I'm going to get a hold of you know, mm -hmm. insert name. Um, I also I also have an a thought. Um, the robes and stuff do they look similar to what the um, cultists at the Church of Contemplation were wearing? You day? never saw the robes, but no. you can clearly go up to the stone wall yeah. and somebody can get you up because the door is slightly open and you can look in if you'd like. You haven't okay. seen them. Now, other people have. So, Marion, I'd like you to make an idea roll. Uh, I believe that is that's that... just intelligence, right? Yeah. 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 Sorry. 76 out of 65. Yeah, yeah. Mm. maybe. I'm not sure. I, I was very stressful when we asked, uh, when we were at the Church of Contemplation because Althea was about to get stabbed. Yeah, so they're robes. Was, yeah, no. Pretty sure, not bathrobes. No, not like robes. Cadbury's Argyle bathrobe. Okay, Fine. it's pretty nice. Um, okay. Cadbury has style. Um, Althea is gonna turn to Skeet and say, "Skeet, can yes, you um, help me out with something for a second? I want to get a closer look at those robes in there." Not a problem, man. And what are we doing? And he's rubbing his hands together. Uh, we're gonna, what are we doing? Man? Althea, don't go Althea, in. Althea, don't let him out of your sight. Um, no, we're just gonna go to the wall. No, just he looks at you incredulously. He's gonna boost ah. me up the same in the same way. Just well, I can so boost I can you right up over. over. No, no, not over. Oh, not wait. over. I just need to get a look in there. Okay. 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 I'm good to go when you are, miss. Let's go. You sure you don't want me to hoist mm. you up? Just like bucking crab apples back in the day. Oh God. Bucking old crab apples from old Graham. Skeet. Skeet. Yes, ma'am. Focus. Uh, okay, I. in order to focus, and he reaches down, and like right Christ. next to his seat, he pulls up like a jug with of orange juice That's with fine. like around a third in it, and he's just I like a cigarette. Swig. He's like, oh, I'm ready to focus now, miss. Yeah, I got so, the orange juice. I'm so glad that I imported all those so oranges So glad you told California. me about oranges. This anyway. <laughs> Stop talking when I'm talking, miss. It's bad for the mics. <laughs> just... Oh, my God. <laughs> Skeet breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> I mean, it's no. Skeet, all if Skeet anyone's is. going to, it would be Skeet. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's a fair point. <laughs> he doesn't tell you to be quiet. Just, okay. you know, let's all just right. remember. Mm. Okay, miss. And he hops out. And he's okay. got his coveralls, mm -hmm. his overalls. Overalls with the mm -hmm. one strap and yeah. nice, luxurious, hairy chest. Yeah. <laughs> Agatha. Um, fit. Agatha. Two bucks, he tosses her over. Ouch. Please, I really no. don't want to take that bet. But you I'm, kind of do. I would, miss. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't, do not. No, I want, I want, of course. Skeet. Yes, ma'am. Do you want to keep your treehouse? Yes, ma'am, it's my home. Then Jesus. you make sure that you don't put me over that wall. Oh, that's God damn it, she's going to have to be sure can't. Is that, <laughs> oh, okay, ma'am. This is not but the time that's my house, And you told me I could live here forever. You did. I did. <laughs> but if Bet I'm. regretting that now. Something I don't want to live in the house, miss. If something happens to me, you never know who gets to keep the house and all the land it's Boys on. Boy, isn't it Cadbury, miss? No. Why the really? fuck would he know that? What do you, what do you mean Cadbury doesn't get to Can we, just, Cadbury, go, can we like, just go to the wall? Is he the next in command, miss? I'm just going to get out on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Cadbury get it anyway. Yeah. I'll go with you. Hey, miss, do you want to boost me Do you have any children, yeah. miss? Yeah, sure do. Do you have any children? That's not a discussion for now. Okay, let's go. And he starts walking <laughs> toward the stone wall. Skeet starts walking toward the stone wall. Right, that's fine. Let's just go. He but you notice sneaky. now. Just give me one second. <laughs> Looking forward to making money out of you. Mm. <laughs> I don't like the duck face. <laughs> you roll a hundred or a one? No. Oh. Yeah. Is so a good o or for, a bad a quick, o? for a quick second, mm -hmm. for a hot minute, <laughs> no, for a quick second. Um, Althea and the rest of you, Skeet starts walking toward the stone uh, wall, and where the sun is uh, shining, you're all slightly blinded, but just a quick second in the direction he walks, so you can't see him for a quick second because of the sun. <laughs> I and, then, the holster. and then when you blink, he's like at the wall, hunched down, almost like blended into it. I reclipped the holster. 
Yeah. Are you walking he up with that? almost looks like he's still about the car with us. to no, uh, call I to you to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, I'm making my way over there. Are you trying to be stealthy, Elf? Uh, yes. Can you I'm trying to be quiet. a stealth check? Oh. As we had two people move from a Packer Twin Six toward the wall, come back, talk, and then two other people start Oh, we're door. in the bed. Maybe you're graffiti artist. It could be. Maybe. Maybe. What do, not, what do 1923 graffiti artists draw? Oh, uh, that, 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 dicks. That, that, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not probably not wrong. wrong. No. I'm there's, probably there's not wrong. There's a really, really famous one. It's, it's so-and-so was here. It's like Zippo or something. Ooh. Oh, my God. 5%. Five percent. Five percent. Let's keep this 24. up, guys. Put a tick in stealth. Let's keep this up. Um, yeah, yeah uh, just a quick second when it comes to graffiti. Wasn't it in uh, Rome or in Italy on a structure? They, uh, in Pompeii. Deck, yeah. Or something like that, but it was basically it was, like, was you know, a dick. It was a dick. <laughs> fuck off or whatever. Uh, yeah. And there was a dick. Yeah, there's yeah. dicks yeah. everywhere. Well, actually, fuck because off. history <laughs> fact, uh, that image told where, uh, where um, brothels were. Actually, ah, that's that's ah, it. That was the wait, actual purpose. Was hang on a sec. Was where brothels were. The were. OG use for dick, like just little dick drawings, was yep. for tagging underground brothels. No, not underground. Not underground. Yeah. They were actually because like, it brothels. was it was very just, common. Just yeah. Tagging. I'm brothels. not gonna lie to you. I literally went to Italy, and a guy says, "I have a surprise for you," and we just do this whole. <laughs> no, we're gonna stop here. Red card. Right right we're gonna stop here. Red right card. We're gonna stop here. Red right card. Red right card. <laughs> Red card. That's Jesus. a red card. Red card. Rob's face. It wasn't a real one. No, no, no. We're ending the conversation no, there. A real dick. No, we're playing a game. Jesus All right. Girl, red card. All right. Because Back. I like that we ended the story where he had a surprise for you. Back. So, Back. Let us continue in the vein of all seriousness. <laughs> right. Vein. <laughs> Okay, Althea. And after so you go done. over, and once again, Althea seems to move toward the light <laughs> and die. Yeah. Move into the same sort of light as it's coming down. You all lose sight of her for a second, and then she's up with Skeet. It's like they disappeared from around 10 feet in front of the Packer Twin Six and reappeared at the stone wall. That's fucked up. Really well done. Okay. <sighs> all right. And Skeet sort of has his hands laced, mm -hmm. and just, just like Agatha was doing mm -hmm. for Marion. Yep. And he's like, ready, miss? Yep. Okay. Stand in. And he rises you slowly, mm -hmm. exactly to the height you need to be to look over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Her feet touch the ground. You Hang on. do notice something okay. from Skeet. Is he slowly lifts you up, and there is no strain at all yeah. for Skeet. Like, it's just literally, like, inch by inch, slowly lifting you up. And yet this Nobody is else really notices because you got to be right next to him. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's like it was no effort. I'll make a mental out. note. And yet this is not the strangest well, encounter I've had with It's him. not like, you know what I mean, you are a fairly small frame mm -hmm. and he is skeet. Yeah. Like, he could probably lift a pack of twin six. Yeah. Right? Okay. He well, probably has. Yeah. Uh, Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. So. As you're peeking over the wall. Mm -hmm. And you notice that the door is slightly. Am I able to see anything of the robes that are on the on the hooks that were inside? Or is it not open enough? Can you roll me a luck roll, please? Yep. Mm -hmm. Luck? Oh, fuck. Uh, 46 out of 62. Yes. Perfect. Um, what happens is as you're looking at the door and it's slightly open, as you're thinking to yourself, oh, I can't really get a good view, the door opens another couple of inches. It just... I don't like that it's inviting us. <laughs> and it just opens. And you're looking in and you can see it's like a, like a navy blue darkish robe. Mm -hmm. And it does look really similar or familiar to the robe of, of the cultists who are taking you. Now, let's not forget... The cultists at the Church of Contemplation who mm -hmm. took you, the robes, the hoods were up over their mm -hmm. faces. You never really seen their faces. Oh, yeah. I'm not interested in yeah. their faces. No, Just but the... you would need to see, because the way they're hung, mm -hmm. you would need to see the front of the robe mm -hmm. to make sure that it was exactly Same. that. Because the way they're hung. Mm. You also notice that it's like not just like a, like a closet. Mm -hmm. It's like a long hallway. It's an and 
from your view, you see like 15, 20 ropes. And it continues on. Like there's, but you can't see because of the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't okay. see that angle. angle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a mathematician in the room just had a hernia. <laughs> it's obtuse. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, uh, you don't see anybody as well. And there's no servants or anything. You don't see any, any <laughs> movement now. Okay. All right. But um, Marion did get a good look at the servants uniforms. Uh, yes, and Marion did get a good look. Um, once again, it was the same button-up shirt. Mm -hmm. It was the dark suspenders, uh, navy blue pants. Which seemed to match the navy blue of the... Yeah, because you've seen the servants from when you were servants. Staff, you've seen the staff as well when you were um, mm -hmm. driving around driving the Renaissance. Around yeah, it's around the same colors, the robes, to a point. Mm -hmm. But the same dress shoes was noticed by Marion. Mm-hmm. Is the same dress shoes as well. Okay. Um, if you saw, make me an idea roll. I'm not gonna give you information for free. Okay. <laughs> there. Thirteen. I made a hard idea or an extreme man. idea check. Thirteen out of fourteen is my extreme success. Okay. Um, you realize that if you could see, because you also notice that, um, and you notice this about the coldest robes as well, even mm -hmm. though it wasn't brought up is they're like finely made. Mm -hmm. This isn't just, you know, something found in just a regular store. Mm -hmm. um, these are finely uh, made, so the servant's uniforms are probably also finely made in the dress shoes. Mm -hmm. With who you are, if you could see a servant, servant, if you could see a staff, staff, it's a staff member. Mm -hmm. If you could see a staff of... Um, you, I, I think I know where, oh, The reason I wanted to see the robes was because I thought I could have them replicated by a tailor. Yeah, it would take time. Yeah. But the thing about the staff's clothing is if you could see one more close up, mm -hmm. you could probably figure out where it was tailored. Oh, mm -hmm. that would shorten that time. Right. It's hard to tell from the robes, but it could potentially, the color seems to match almost exactly. So it's probably... Same oh, location. Oh, one of the, if I could see one of the robes up close. I could. Or Robe the, up close. Or, or one of the staff, staff uniforms. I've got or an idea, but uniforms. i got to wait till she gets back. I know you're going to do it, so you might as well say it. Okay, I'm going to say skeet. And he slowly lowers you mm -hmm. to the ground. Now, nobody else really can tell this, like mm -hmm. that yeah. he's not straining. Mm-hmm. No, you just can't because... Too far away? Yeah. And he slowly lowers you down. Mm -hmm. Skeet? Yes, ma'am. How sneaky are you? Sweet Christ. Oh, no. Sweet <laughs> Christ. Oh, no. You are all back at the car. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so they can still see. You just see you them see, talking. You can see. We're talking. You just see Your them talking. feet still haven't touched the ground, though, right? No, I'm on the ground. No, they haven't. No, no. no. Yeah. Yeah. I, give, I give $2 over to Agatha. <laughs> uh, oh, ma'am. Quite sneaky. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Do you think you could be quick and sneaky enough to grab the road that is closest to the door and then quickly make it back to the car? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Now, if I if I get arrested or something from from the coppers, I'm sure you'll you'll get me out, right? Of course I will. You know, case case. They calls the cops on me. Do you want me to take the... He sort of gets this look in his face, just this sort of, hmm, like he's thinking hard. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, miss, I'll take one of the robes that's a bit further in, so it's not as noticeable that it's missing from the end. Just, just be... Fair. If I was going to steal something, and I'm good at it. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that's what I do, is all, is all, is all I'm saying. Is all I'm saying. All right, just be very careful. Yes, ma'am. And as quick and as quiet as you can be. Yes, ma'am. Are you going to wait back at the car, ma'am, or are you going to wait here for me? I'll wait here for you. Okay. Okay. Then the rest of you sees. <laughs> <laughs> there was a conversation I wanted to have while we were oh, sitting sure. waiting in the car. But Let's like, go. No, no, no. It's no, not important. No. As he's about, as 
as Skeet is about to do what he's going to do oh, God. Uh, during the same time period. I'm just going to quickly go back to Mary and <laughs> uh, Agatha, Simon, and Simon to see if there's any discussions that you guys would like to be having at the, you people would like to be having at this point. Um, Take it away, Mary. <laughs> you mentioned, just a thought just occurred to me. Wasn't there something we were supposed to do today? Some we uh, the, we were supposed to meet up with someone. It's been it's been a it's been a wild few days, and we haven't gotten much sleep. But I'm sure we agreed to meet up with someone. I've been preoccupied, and I'm just gonna point to my missing eye. The eye patch. I'm eye assuming patch. that's <laughs> the eye patch. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming right. you're walking around with just the whole. No, no, no. I have... Not that there's anything wrong with that, but no. like you keep no, going. No, I have. <laughs> Jesus. I put the two dollars that Amos just gave me. <laughs> That's disgusting, but all right, I uh, respect no, it. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to point sarcastically, kind of. I'm a pretty preoccupied. I'm not sure uh, if it's that important. Okay. You know? Agatha, what would you could... be making plans with with all this shit going on? Agatha, <gasps> could you roll me an idea? I'm just gonna go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> could you roll me an idea roll with a penalty die? <laughs> yeah. <well. laughs> Sorry. So if it, nah. if, yeah, no. So you roll two numbers. What are they? Uh, fifty-nine and eighty-nine. Yeah. So because it's a penalty die, you take the eighty-nine, and you know your intelligence. Your intelligence is sixty-five. Yep. So I do. Yeah. So no, you don't realize right away. So back to Marion, who was about to say something. Yeah, I was just about. I was. I don't know if this is metagaming. If it is. You didn't even stop me. You could just roll a straight up idea roll because I know where you're going with this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's been a lot of stress in the last couple of days, but you don't get a penalty die. It's just a straight up roll. 57 out of 65. Okay, so you can continue. Okay. We, oh my goodness, Heinrich at the at the library. Well, we're not meeting him. He's dead. No, we were supposed to meet Christ. with the police officer. Oh. oh. So at this point, shit. At this point, I'm gonna let you guys keep going. (laughs) Fuck. Yep. I mean, you you guys said you were supposed to meet it. Uh, Well, he he spoke with us outside the library because we were the last people to speak with him before. Before. And outside of my apartment after it exploded. Oh dear. Yeah. We did we give him an address? We gave nope. him our names. Yeah. We did give him. Yeah. Oh, we need to follow oh, up with that. Oh, Christ. As soon as possible. And just to clarify, now I'm going to quickly jump in just to clarify, I don't, is the fact that Marion and Agatha, um, as you left the library, uh, you ran into a <coughs> um, officer, Vincent Caputo. Yeah. Um, who, from the information you were going to, he seemed a bit wondering about the information you were giving him at the time and that you could just, there's a lot of stuff happening. You become, yeah, really but also job. in front of the apartment, it was pretty much the same situation. Yeah, he's really good at his job. Yeah, because the explosion at the apartment, timeline-wise, happened while you were talking to him from the explosion. They didn't happen <clears throat> at the same time, remember? Because I had yeah. to... Toy yeah. with time to catch everyone up. Yeah. And also, Officer Vincent Caputo was also <clears throat> one that Althea was talking to in the hospital about Officer Ricky. But who, we don't uh, know that. No, you don't know that. We got a real uh, bad rap with him. He seemed to be fairly nice. Let's see how quick that changes. Yeah, it's not but anyway. much of a reason to stay that way. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I. We should head there. As soon as as soon as Althea and Skeets get back, we, they, they, and now I'm going to turn and, and look. And as you turn and look at the wall, you see Skeet jump up and grab the top of the wall with his hands and immediately hop over. I the wall. throw no! the cigarette and I go, "What the fuck?" And you see Althea not looking surprised no. by this and not looking at the car. <laughs> what are they doing? So. Mm-hmm. Do we get like a dollar back? I mean, like, like I was half right. No. Elsie, it didn't go over. It's a hard, it's a hard game, are you? This is Damn why you don't time gamble. for skeets. Oy. All important stealth roll. Um. Oh Christ! Did you roll a hundred? One percent. 
<laughs> Look. Yes. Look. This Look. could be terrible. Look. One yeah. percent. <laughs> this. It depends on what Skeet wants. If he wants to get caught, we're screwed. If he wants to help us, we're not screwed. I I oh I my, thank you, divine soul dice. I, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I, uh, <laughs> yep. Dot com. Shit. Divine, <laughs> divine soul dice dot com. Wow. 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 Oh, God. Okay, oh. well, the funny thing is, it doesn't matter because regardless of his stealth, none of you can see him anyway. No. <laughs> his stealth is amazing. <laughs> We were just sitting there stressing. Look, look how well he's hung behind that eight foot high stone wall. <laughs> <laughs> he's virtually unnoticeable. I might fucking die right here, right now, next to this goddamn car. How long are you waiting? Oh, um, oh I can just let time go. Yeah. And then, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, a minute goes. And then, two minute goes. How long do Still I probably breathing? think it would have taken what? to um, slowly creep across this yard? Um, slowly. Um, the distance, maybe 15, 20, 25 feet to the deck. Mm-hmm. Maybe at least 20. I don't think I specified before, so I'm going to make it 20. It should be bigger than that. But just from your angle, I'm going to go with 20. And um, then you got the deck and the door. You don't know what he might have came up with. Mm-hmm. Did you want to jump up and try to pull yourself up to take a peek? No, because my strength is not great, and I don't want to fall down and don't make worry. some noise. You <laughs> wouldn't see speed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I sent him into danger, so I'm going yeah. to wait as long as I need to wait. Yeah. Is there anything? It, it's gonna. Let's say a couple of minutes goes by. Mm-hmm. Is there anything the rest of you want to do at this time? You're around 50 Shit. feet away, 40 feet away. Shit myself. I'm gonna run up to where Althea is and just be like, "What happened?" Don't, 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 don't. As soon as she goes to the street, I just grab her by the collar and be like, "No, don't you fucking no. Stay. Don't don't move. Don't do not draw attention." Now. Also, do you have the Leanne field on you? No. no. Wait, oh, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. You start running, you roll a fighting brawl oh, that's fair. to yeah, grab her properly, yep, to be yep, 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 quick enough and to grab her. Since it is during the day, Althea is just casually leaning with her arms crossed against the wall. <laughs> 22 out of 43. Put a tick in grapple. So he does manage to grab a hold of you. Just fucking stay put. Just, God. What would you do? What, we, we, all we can do is wait. So. What, 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 is the, what are they thinking? Uh, we can't see over the wall from how far back we are. No, well, you can see over the wall, but you can't see the door. You can just see the house. Yeah. You know, at a certain point, you can see mm. the house. You see, like, from the second floor up. Yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. Not that it matters now, because we're already this thick into the weeds, literally, for some of us. I was going to suggest that one of us pretends to be a bumbling idiot that's going to deliver something to the wrong house. I don't know which idea is worse at this point. And Simon pipes up, says, you know, you could you know, still do that too. I mean, unless they caught Skeet and are like, Yes, Simon, that's the problem unless they catch Skeet. Ah. He just leans back in the chair. <laughs> in the car. Thank you for your fucking input. <laughs> always, the, always here to be helpful. <laughs> oh, God. Always here to be helpful. You see that he's also got like a small book out? And he's just sort of like reading slightly, not really paying attention to what's going on. Um, you're not sure what the book is. It's not like it's not like Gal's journal or something like that. It just seems like, you know, the just a book, yeah. just a book he found of. Stuff. Oh, it's it's what's what's the name of that book? How to not give a fuck. Oh, <laughs> right. Actually, while he does that, be like, that hasn't been published anything yet. in there about cults and what the fuck could be going on inside the lodge? Maybe. Nah, it's a book about giraffes. <laughs> Do you happen to know anything about the lodge or what might be happening inside right now? No. Or tonight? No, I don't. This book about giraffes, they're fascinating creatures. Oh, fantastic. You see their necks? Crazy. Holy fuck. You think this stuff is crazy? Giraffes. <laughs> giraffes. <laughs> Seriously. I'm going to shoot myself. Then he sort of like puts the book down and he's like, man, it's it's okay. Skeet will come back is or he it? won't come back. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. That's the only way that we can do this. Oh, See, no. Alistair's the one who comes up with the plans. And he's not here. Right. So we need him back. Yes. And I'm sure whatever Skeet's doing is going to help with that. Yes. That's that's yes. why we're here. And Skeet seems really sneaky. And that's I, the problem. But as is he's... It? At the yes. moment... Yes. Uh, maybe sometimes, but at the moment, that's what we have to rely on. 
I'm really concerned about that. Yeah, but anyway, if we, if we act, I guess if we act on it now, we could make it worse for Skeet. No, I'm not saying we act on it now. I'm just saying that. Like, fuck. And as you're discussing the situation, <clears throat> Skeet, probably four or five minutes total. Mm-hmm. Last day. Um, Skeet. Just pretty much, like you see him just be pushing himself up onto the stone wall. You know, like he reached up, grabbed, and he's pushed himself up. And he sort of just like flips over the eight foot wall. Has he been fucking working out? And well, no. Skeet's fairly fit. I'm assuming. Alfia might ask that question soon. And he uh, just and he lands eight foot drop, and just ah, I better roll for this. That's got to be fair. <laughs> and lands a little bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> he lands a little bit rough, but he, he definitely looks like he's not hurt. But he he sort of lands and then sort of drops to the ground, <clears throat> and over his shoulder is a robe. Okay? Just mm-hmm. over his shoulder is a robe. Okay. And he lands. He's like, oh, I got it, miss. Excellent. Excellent job. Come on, let's go back to the car. Looking a bit crazy, miss. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> so I, whatever you say, miss. And I'll just take the robe from over his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, you take the you take the robe mm-hmm. from over his shoulder, yeah. Okay, and uh, we're going to quickly go back to the car. <laughs> okay. Um, did you... I'll allow your stealth checks from before and his rolled the 1% just to get back. Mm -hmm. It's basically you're trying to keep yourself out of view from, it's not Mm -hmm. as much from the house, it's from other people seeing what you're doing Mm -hmm. on the street. Yes. Is my point. Yeah. But uh, where he, uh, you both rolled quite well. I'm just going to let it go that you get back to the car. Mm -hmm. I do have to roll a dice regardless of what you rolled. Yeah. No one will say shit. Or do they? Mm. (laughs) Simon definitely doesn't know. (laughs) Giraffes. I mean, come on. <laughs> why really we, Why did book. we bring him again? It's an excellent question. <laughs> because we we are looking because we're looking for information about Alistair. Oh right. And to be fair, when Simon is useful, he's pretty Very useful. useful. Yeah. And when he's not useful, he's, he's giraffes. <laughs> he's a, he's offending you. <laughs> yes, basically. With your father's suit on, because it fits perfectly. It's a waste <sighs> oh, otherwise. Oh, God. So it's like, fair. Because it's probably anyway. like. Okay. okay, it's probably bespoke. Right. So you have the rope. Yep, back in the car. Yeah, you're back in the car. Ski, uh, assuming the same driving. Oh, or you can talk for a bit first. What, what the, what what the you, fuck? What were you thinking? Skeet. Yes, ma'am? Did you happen to see any of the staff while you were in there? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. That's what took me a couple minutes. Is, uh, some staff were walking by. Um, so before, I, I stuck in there. And I, had, I, I actually hid... You won't believe this, miss. You won't believe it. I hid behind the robes. They didn't even see my legs. It was awesome. <laughs> so that means that you get a really good look at their clothes they were wearing, eh? Yes, ma'am. Fancy clothes. Better than my clothes, for sure. Excellent. I have an idea, everyone. What? I have an idea. The first thing I'm going to do, and now that we're back in the car, I'm going to kind of open up the robe and, like, take a good look at it. Yeah, it's... Uh... The same. It's really well crafted. Could you mm-hmm. roll me a credit roll, please? Yep. If not, I'm just mean it'll take time for you to track yep. it down, but you can track it down. I got 10% out of 58. Damn. So it's a extreme success. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can put a tick in credit rating. Yay. Damn. Is that? What was that? Sorry. Oh, the credit rating doesn't have a little square for ticks. I oh, know, yeah. but I'm doing it a little cool. bit different. Usually your credit rating is your credit rating. Yeah, that's true. Normally it is. And normally it is, yeah. but... If we change... We can change that the, after, if you the, decide. The reason I did it is because Althea's credit rating didn't really show her actual influence in the city. Mm, so point. the more she's going to interact with the city is a better check. But other people's credit ratings can go up, too, because in the game it doesn't affect as much as... Well, it's that's 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 but anyway, to continue... Um, you realize that it's from um, uh, a well-known tailor, uh, Chafe. Chafe and Sons. Really? Chafe and Sons? Well, what's wrong with that? Chafe and Sons. All right. Okay. You, you don't remember the, the owner's first name, mm-hmm. but, but everyone just calls it Chafe and Sons. Yeah. 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 It's a really, really high-end... Taylor. I feel like I'm missing the joke. 
Okay. Little Easter eggs that some uh, every now and then I throw in for stuff. Yeah. Everybody. It has to do with Newfoundland. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I was gonna say everybody but Liz looked at me like I should know what this joke is. And no. Then get it. it has to do with me. That was just <clears throat> Tim and me basically. All right. Yeah. Um, oh, I was thinking okay. like chafing. No. <laughs> so was I, actually. Yeah. It is spelled. Let's. Okay. Um, excellent. <laughs> I know excellent. exactly where this was made. Yes, and ma'am. I'm rich enough to get some ma- some uh, duplicates as well. There's a very good chance. Uh, by tonight? Well, maybe not by tonight. By, by, tonight? by tonight? This is what, this is what Skeet says. By tonight, man? Was that not the plan? What? 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 Oh, right. We don't have a plan. What? What? Why? Never mind. Why, why tonight? Well, maybe not tonight. First, we go to where it was tailored. Then. Why? Why are you go? I find. Why would you go in tonight? Find out go tonight? when their why, event why is why happening. Why would we go tonight? Yes, the, that. Oh, oh, man. That. That's. The event tomorrow. I overheard the staff talking. Talking. See, that's why I was looking night. for him to finish the sentence. All right. Staff is tomorrow. Oh, the the other thing, ma'am, is uh, I di- I didn't take it because I I wasn't sure, because um, you only wanted the robe, right, Miss? Yes. When I took the robe, there was a a mask. Sweet fucking Jesus! What did it look like? Uh, really? Oh. Uh. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Call. The next episode of The Call will air Tuesday, January 25th with Spacers, our sci-fi podcast, airing Tuesday, January 18th. Please leave us a review on your podcast app of choice and visit our main website for merch and more. Music and ambient tracks licensed through Triune Films and Artlist. Your players for the night were Elizabeth Wells, Janessa Coles, Lindsay Delansky, and Zach Barrett. Your GM or keeper tonight was Derek Snow. Your audio operator was Rob Hickey. Have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you next time.